Let's ride. Right, a beta weight update because I actually have to build the robot now. I have been accepted into the championships hosted by Kinematic Event. Now, I haven't actually started any of the electronics. It's currently the 31st of August, so I have just over a month to get everything done. This is how far we got on the um, chassis shell scenario. So I've got some brackets and some bolts left over. Is I'm going to add these on the underside of the flipper, on this side here. Um, maybe this way. And then on top of that, on top of this, because there'll be bolts extruding from here, because they're big enough, I'm going to use a muesli box. You can use other cereal boxes. I'm using muesli because that's what we've got in the house. Um, I'm going to draw out shape of a wedge, or well, not a wedge, but just a front plate from the leftover barbecue bit. It's going horribly rusty though. And bolt that to the front. I might put on, if I can, some angled side bits, side bits, especially to deflect spinners. Well, I don't know if that's going to deflect anything. Ever hopeful. So this is quite cool. I need to find a way to mount the flipper arm to the motor. And rather than buying one of the wheel hub mounts like I've used on the wheels, I've been using this. It's from a plug. All that I've done is I've made the hole there a little bit larger to fit on the four mil shaft. Fits nicely and it has a screw in there as well so I can just tighten it up. Because it's quite soft metal it will probably be easy to drill through to add a some sort of longer arm to, to the flipper to give it more reach. Quite impressed with that, quite happy. Electronics because I need to do something electrical. So I'm breaking out the soldering iron. This is uncharted territory. Let's move that out of the way. We don't want a massive fire. A small fire I can deal with, but a massive fire, no. So I have my soldered up gear motor. This one is for the weapon. I have my speed controller. Got my receiver. Finally, my LiPo battery, stuff like that. There you go. That does work. I've tested that on that motor, and that is okay. Because I have never used an ESC before, I've used servos with the receiver. And I've never used a LiPo before. This could be very interesting. I mean, I followed the instructions properly from what I found on various forums and YouTube videos, but I've got to break a few eggs to make an omelet or a robot. That's something I don't want to break. That I can live with. This, definitely not. I totally didn't have to look up how I did it. It's going to be fun. Oh, it beeps. Something beeped. It's flashing. Oh, there we go! <laughs> Genuinely exciting! That is perfect. I don't know what I was worried about. <laughs> that is the wiring diagram that I'm going with currently. I've got my battery. Um, this is a Y junction that I needed to make. I've got two ESCs two motors and the receiver and that is the bodgiest job ever now this is incredibly exciting because i've never ever done anything like this before the height of my robotics knowledge before doing all this lipo esc stuff was playing around with the servos but this actually ESCs need turning on. 
beeps. Both of them beep. They are connected and we do have on one channel one wheel and on the other channel the other wheel. They both move! They are taped to the table at the moment. No matter way, which way you look at that, that is the circuit. That's the main drive circuit and it works. If this isn't the most budget Roomba I've ever seen, then I don't know what is. <gasps> it needs to be wired up now. But if the circuit works, then that should move. It should. Fingers crossed. It's going to move. It's going to move. Now, I know this is very crude and the floor is a bit of a mess, but it is all literally taped on. And it is also incredibly hard to steer because I haven't done any controller mixing. This circuit we proved works. That's a test bed. And that is live. Like I say, very hard to control. Can spin. Okay, I'm at the end of the tripod here because I've set up down here Volta. It is fully wired, well mostly wired, I haven't sorted out the flipper yet. It's fully wired, I'm about to plug in the battery and actually drive this thing. It is the scrappiest thing ever as far as robots go. I don't know which direction's which but but what about the weapon? There you go, that's a streamer wire there. Only the best. Originally I was running it like this. We're left. Lift the flipper very slowly. I thought it was the battery. I thought it was a problem with the battery. But I'm running it on the channel from this stick, which is already mixed for the wheels, which means it actually flips more like that. A lot quicker. Which also means. Can you it does. Self right. <laughs> However, the flipper arm does keep coming off, so I'm gonna to have to try and find a way to keep that on. Okay, so I've just filmed the submission video for um, the championships, and all that's really left to do now I mean, we are practically done, we just need to put the top panels on, and as I said in the um, video put in the removable link and a power light which shouldn't be too difficult it's just a simple addition to the circuit um, I might take the back spikes off because I have tested it self writing and it actually works better without them which is a shame and then I'll take this side off and this side and all of the sides and I'm gonna spray paint it because it needs to be spray painted I'm gonna get rid of the stickers as well from the oil barrel We've got about just over a week to go and we are almost there and then it's going to be obliterated. There we go, we have a name on the back panel. In fact, I'm probably not going to do this, I might get Cat to do it. Yeah, 
There we go. And now we wait for it to dry. Cool. And that's it all painted. Take off the tape and reveal the stencil. It's probably not going to be as good as what I think it is, but we'll see. O L T. Is it? Uh, T is a bit wonky. What does that come out? Hey, look at that. Hello, I'm giving you an update on my beat away now. Um, I've forgotten all the editing process at this point, and I'm just gonna say it straight. Um, Volta is finished. Uh, it's currently Thursday. Thursday the um, 4th. Is it the 4th? I think it's the 4th. But it's only a few days before the the, the FRA Beetle Championships. And Volta has... Well, it, it's finished, but it hasn't been easy. In the initial stages, it was very easy. I was very surprised at how it managed to move around on its own accord. But now, um, I've added in the safety features such as removable link and the LED and a safety fuse to protect the battery. And sorry, I got a cough sweet because I have nasty cold. Um, yeah, I, I added that part of the circuit and it it works. It's I'm I'm not a hundred percent happy with it, but it does work. And well, we'll we'll see. If it passes the tech check, then then it will be destroyed. However, if it doesn't pass the tech check then I will probably be bringing it back in the same state that I took it in. Um, but <laughs> At the end of the day, it's something that I have always wanted to do. Build a fighting robot and go to a fighting robot competition. And although I'm not going to win any main championships with it, I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. Um, I'm going to, well, I'm mostly going to see how it's done, see how other people do it, get advice, how I can improve future robots. But as it stands, Volta is done, it does work, it's in weight, I'm not 100% with it, but beginner's luck, isn't it? And if I'm not competing, then I don't compete, I just watch, which... It's hardly a kick in the teeth. If I do compete, then, then it's coming home in a bin bag, isn't it? Let's be honest. So, I'm going to have a cup of tea and go to bed. Three, two, one, activate.